Well, I mean, what you're outlining, uh, so in 2017, we got eliminated by Tufts uh, in PKs. We're also eliminated by, uh, I think, F&M, no, Dickinson in PKs um, in our conference tournament. And at that point, I came away from this, like, I'm tired of losing the PK. So I went and researched asked a lot of coaches things and, and came up that Stanford definitely has a way uh, 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 to take PKs. Jeremy Gunn like, mm-hmm. studies it relentlessly. He's very meticulous as a coach about like how he wants things done, and PKs is one of them. Mm-hmm. And uh, um, <clears throat> But when you mentioned the side netting piece, if you go see, like, they, they got into PKs against UNC Greensboro this year and lost. Mm-hmm. And yeah. their PKs were side netting PKs, and that keeper yeah. was fantastic. So right, right, right. Yeah. I, I don't know if side oh, no. netting still applies. Right. But, but, but I think the idea is that you stand a better chance if you strike the ball well and you, you've minimized and, and, and just focus in on stepping yourself back making sure you got the right angle and then you're able to strike the ball you you're basically your chances jump i'm not saying that they can't make the same especially now because of the way goalies are allowed to move and 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 different things but it improves your chances dramatically than if you hey this time i'm gonna try to go down the center and then i'm gonna try all this funky stuff and then guys launch it over the so anyhow yeah that's that's my thinking that applies also to, to various things. Like w- when we practice PK, some guys try to show, hey, look at me. I can do yeah, that. Yeah, look at me. Yeah. And they never master one PK. Yeah. So they're they just got average. Too much, yeah, yeah. They're ab- exactly. And I think it is because I think in a lot of respects, and I think it's because goalkeepers have gotten better that we've overcomplicated the penalty kick. And I'm, and I'm, I'm not speaking at the professional level, right? Because those guys, they have, you know, they know who's hitting and where their tendencies are and that sort of stuff. But for for college and here, what we do, I I I, I think there's two there's we we've complicated that process of how do you step up to a ball, how do you place the ball down, how do you back up, how do you step up to the ball and hit it, right? Then I think a lot of guys, you know, the, hey, they stay on, they go straight to the ball, then they shift, you know, they shuffle over and then they go to the ball. Like that to me is just one other variable that's going, that can distort your approach to the ball and you not even realize it. And so you're not going to get as good of a strength. So anyhow, right. I, 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 I used to be obsessive about goal, uh, penalty kicks because I was a goalkeeper. And um, yeah, so 